hey guys so in this lecture we will understand what are indexes in c sharp now whenever we work with collection classes say array array or list we use indexes very frequently but there could be scenarios where we need our class to be behaving like as a array or our class that should be behaving like a list in that case we can create a custom indexes also so let's quickly jump onto our slides so indexes allow our class to be used just like an array or we can say we can index the object using square brackets just like arrays so let's quickly see that in action but before we start doing the demo just understand that the syntax of creating indexes is very similar to creating properties so if you are working with properties it will be very easier for you to understand the semantic of indexes so let's jump on to visual studio so here i have simple program class and a main method so let me make a custom class I will, I will call this class as person class okay and let me make this class as public class fine then i need to define an array which uh, which contains four or five persons in, in it so i have already typed it so here here it is so i have defined an array which is called as person and it has four elements so let me create a indexer now so I will just type indexer and it gives me code snippet. So I will press the tab twice and it has created a indexer for me. Okay. Now notice this thing that it uh, indexer is created with the help of this keyword. So you should remember always that whenever you need to create an indexer, you need to use this keyword. It will have the get and set accessors just like you have in properties. That's the reason why I told you in the first place that uh, to create indexer, uh, it's very similar to uh, as you are creating properties but you need to use this keyword okay so let me make, change the return type of my indexer okay and let me remove this from here so i will write something in my get and something in my set now my get will get the elements from my persons array okay so i will just have persons and then I will specify a square bracket. So whenever I will give the square bracket an index, it will return me the specified element. Okay. So if I pass uh, persons of one, so it will return me Johnny. Okay. Similarly, I will set something. So I will say persons of this index equals value so our indexer is ready let me have it organized a bit and similarly we can do it here okay so this is our indexer what we have created now let's make a object of this class person obj equals new person obj dot or obj you can see now it's expecting a index okay so if i pass zero it will give me john if i pass one it will give me johnny if i pass two it will give me card so what i'm doing i am accessing my person's object that is this obj object just like i was accessing an array okay so let me have something meaningful so i will just say console dot right line and i will say first name is and i will give a placeholder zero and then i will change the line and then i will say second name is then i will specify a placeholder again and then i will pass my obj first index and obj second index okay let's try to run this and see the output so let me run this and you can see first name is john second name is johnny so what i am doing i am accessing my object that is defined in here just like i am accessing a array Okay, so I am using a index 
to access these elements which are defined inside my person class okay i hope this is clear to you so let's move back to our slides so you see the third point syntax of indexers also resemble properties so we had our get and set accesses also defined in indexers too so indexers resemble properties but remember they are created with the help of this keyword so we can use any access modifiers with indexers and similarly any valid c sharp return type so you can also make this indexers as uh, indexer as private protected etc and also you can also change the return type of this indexer whatever you need okay so indexers can be created with the help of this keyword that's the last point what i mentioned now, now the question comes that where do we need indexers in real real project scenario so as i told you that there are many cases where you need uh, your class to be accessed just like an array but uh, in all of my career i have not come across any single scenario where i needed to access my class as an array okay so uh, this is just a c sharp part so i have explained this to you because in many interviews it's also asked that uh, what are indexes and how do you use them so if this question is asked you are ready to tell him that uh, this is the concept of indexes and it's it it is created with uh, so and so methods okay so thank you so much guys for listening and if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and also please like my facebook page thank you so very much